And welcome. We get set for the start of this one. It is Toronto against the Houston Dynamo. Starting lineup for Houston. Hall in goal. Freeman and Aino on the outside. Boswell Robinson, Watson, Palmer, Cameron. And get the first leg for Toronto FC. Stavavich, Plata, Suzma, Tut. They play that 4-3-3. Our inventor likes to do that. We talked about Tony Chani. Kalen Carr is one of the players not available today. Brought to you by Methodist Hospital. Soto, Cruz, Gray. Put it this way, there's a lot of guys in Toronto and elsewhere that could learn a lot from him. And people probably remember, of course they remember, the 1994 World Cup. The game against Brazil at the Cotton Bowl, the quarterfinal. Aaron Victor scored a goal. A fabulous result for Brazil. They come back and win the game 3-2. Blasted from long range and tipped up by Tally Hall. He seemed to be snaked it by injuries the last few games. As soon as he got healthy, he got hurt again. Exactly. And then towards the end of 2000, well, he played in 23 of the, of the last 30 in 2010, so he really snapped out of it. But you're right, Phil. And in particular, missed almost all of 2009 due to knee surgery. And this is first game of 2011. Robinson with a nice touch to the near side, but well read. McSolzma cuts to the inside on his left, tries to take the shot. Amo back, and it's going to be a penalty. Rodriguez waiting for a signal from his linesman, it appears. A delayed call, and Toronto will get a chance from the spot. Nick Sulzma kept the ball nicely on the ground. He dribbled into the penalty area. And then from behind, Andrew Hano. We'll see the end result on our replay here. Jorge Rodriguez said, better look at And a commentator's curse. As soon as we compliment Robinson, he gives the ball away. Yep, exactly coming out of his own backfield. There's Sulzma foul from behind. Right call by the referee Jorge Rodriguez, Jal Plato on this kind of the kick. Ecuadorian RTFC. under 20 international. Just 19 years of age. A couple of assists against Edmonton in their Canadian championship match. Now looking for the goal in league. From the spot for our first of the match, if he can convert here in the 50th. All good on penalties. Into the roof of the net, Jao Plata. The first goal of the match as Toronto takes the lead. So you mentioned it earlier, Phil, when we first came on the air. Houston still looking for that very first win in Toronto. Jao Plata on the 50th minute now on the penalty kick. Warner with Andrew Hano tackled from behind. Aaron Victor obviously happy. Seeking to get just their second win. Here on the penalty kick is number seven, Chao Plata. Rooster in behind Kelly Hall. one nothing in favor of the home side, Toronto FC. So Plata with the goal, and you can see the fans behind enjoying it. Not sure if Tally Hall is that much. And again, it came off of Brad Davis, and he, Will Bruin, played on the same club team in St. Louis, obviously at the high school. Time. Watson, Weaver inside, second, third effort. And he could never get his toe to it. He's on a roll, though. Positively. Pulling it down, Stevanovic. Hano goes in strong. Kid out of Quebec. Not easy to beat on a one-on-one, -on -one, as Stevanovic just found out. Blasted long, but intercepted by Adrian Can on the back line. Thought they would have him out on the left. They do have Rusovsky out there, and a good ball from him for Plata. Tries to touch around here. Tally Hall gets the ball through, but Hall touches him, and it looks like that's going to be a card. It's going to be against Hall. It's going to be another penalty. And again, the smallest man on yep. the pitch is the biggest man in the park. Ball played in behind the defense, and Dominic Kinnear pleading with the fourth official. This caution brought to you by Centerpoint Energy. If you suspect a gas leak in your home, leave immediately. Call Centerpoint Energy. Always there. We see Jean Plato running forward. He does get the ball. Mm -hmm. Now this might be one of those cases where a Platini extra assistant yeah, uh, <laughs> could have come in handy. Stevanovic still has that uh, grass on his face from his earlier collision. He's arguing about that, but it looks like he has changed his decision. So the linesman apparently did see enough. And he did his job. The assistant referee came over to talk to Jorge Rodriguez about the whole scenario. Good teamwork between the officials. 
Some might criticize and say that this was a blunder. In my mind, this is the way it's supposed to work. Referee saw contact, points to the spot, and his assistant helps him out. Dynamo substitution in the 62nd minute. It's our AT&T call to the bench. AT&T, a better 3G experience. And it is going to be Weaver out and Bruin in, like for like. Forward, far forward. Uh, Will Bruin trying to get his fifth goal, which would be an equalizer for Houston. Be active inside the penalty area. Go find the game as quickly as possible. Here's again the last play that just took place. Telly Hall off his goal line. Touched the ball, but also touched the player. At least Jorge Rodriguez thought that. Gives a yellow, but does not, as Phil Shane just said, does not award the penalty kick. Adam Mikowski on the near side, the senior assistant. Contribute to the offense and willing to do the dirty work as well, track back and defend. Staying on the left side here today, well, borderline national team, in fact, even did get called up before his injury in Colorado. And in all honesty, looked a little deer in the headlights, but he's got a lot of talent and he'll get more chances. Positive. Lata inside for Santos, but Santos puts on the brakes, gets there in time and tucks it home. It looked like he lost the chance at outside the 18. But he still got to the ball in time and beats Hall for goal number two. And it's Plata on the setup again. Plata who continues to be dangerous in particular in the second half for the home side of Toronto. Michael Santos gets his second goal of the year for the home side. Toronto FC puts him up 2-0 in this, the 82nd minute. Plata with the ball on the ground at his feet. That's a lovely ball into the space. To that number 29, Mike Monsantos can run on to it, receives it, a ball on the ground, very easy to play, beats the last defender, Corey Ash, into the opposite side netting, he makes 2 nothing for the home side. A bit more central now is number 11, Brad Davis, later stages of the game. Nice tuck, and Davis moving over, a little hip bump play on, numbers in the box, Davis to his left, rifle shot, loose! And cleared away. Good save by Fry, and he got some help from Williams in front. Why did he ever, Brad Davis? A nice job to body off that last defender. Keeps it on the ground at his feet. His most favorite left foot, obviously. Close range, wonderful goalkeeping from Stefan Fry. Knocked across. Koke tries to get the shot. Colin Clark providing some balls. Dropped back. Blasted home. And Lavelle Palmer with the goal for Houston. Palmer off the rebound, and he has the Dynamo back in it. When you see a ball like this, Phil, run outside the penalty area, you know it's trouble. That's exactly what happens. Lavelle Palmer runs onto it, puts his team to with on in one. Very nicely done. A ball on the ground that anybody can strike first time. Javon Watson plays it for Lavelle Palmer, puts his team to within one. And that started with Brad Davis taking the shot on yes. the earlier try. Lavelle Palmer... Providing a spark, can they get another one? And the answer is no. Houston still winless, and Joao Plata the big reason.